G'day guys, welcome to Forest Bushcraft. Today we're going to look at uh, game prep. We've got a rabbit here. Uh, We've got a nice new knife. And uh, this has been supplied by A.S. Harding. Uh, a knife that I quite recommend. Okay, the most important thing about um, your game prep is quality of game. Now this rabbit was shot yesterday. Generally in the field, I would... Uh, I would take the rabbit's guts out, the innards out, I'd purse the rabbit straight away. Um, once you've got your game, you've shot it or you've caught it, you need to check the eyes on a rabbit, make sure there's no myxomatosis, make sure the rabbit is basically healthy. Okay, what we're going to do here now is we're going to take, turn the rabbit backwards, so, he's, so his head's at your end and the back is down there, we point him down and we draw our knife down, extracting the urine. Empty in the bladder, you get a squidgy noise. Okay, that means all the bladder is being emptied. So what you don't want is that bursting and growing all over the meat. Okay, then turn the rabbit, uh, keep the rabbit upside down, and turn it head end away from you. And take, take a little pinch like that. Draw the knife all the way down the rabbit. Okay. This is something you don't want to do at camp. Okay, because you need to keep the camp clean and away from germs and flies and other things. So it's best to do it away from your fire and into a pit, dig a pit. But we haven't got a pit here today, so I'm going to put it by the side and remove it later. Now we've exposed the skin. We've pulled the skin away, or the fur away, from the actual rabbit. We look for the sternum on the rabbit, and we're just going to draw our knives down, like so, exposing the intestines, okay? And you give it a little wiggle, like that, and that exposes. Now, and that exposes the intestines. Now, I don't really want to, I don't normally put my hand in, normally I hold the back legs, swing it round, let go of the front legs, and the intestines come out. But for today's purpose, I'm just going to drag them out with my hand. Okay, so drag them out, and I'm going to put them to one side. Okay, now the intestines are out. I'm going to start skinning the rabbit. What you need to do is get your, your fingers between the fur and the actual meat of the rabbit and start dragging apart. You bend the back legs and push the back legs through, like so. This can be a messy job, but keep pulling, pull, 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 and it comes through, and the socks are left on. Um, we do it this way. There is another way of doing a rabbit, it's the hunter's way. This is so we can keep the meat, the uh, the fur, the pelts, to make moccasins or anything you'd make out of leather. Okay, Okay, that's the back legs out. Now you need to draw it as hard as you can. Pull! Pull, pull. Keep pulling and the front legs pop out. So give them a little pull, like so. There we go. Now that's the rabbit almost skinned. What you don't want to do with your knife, you're going to, you're trying not to um, use bone on the knife. You don't want to blunt in your knife straight away. So I've cut the meat, I've cut the tendons around the knife, around the neck, and I just twist and it comes off again. I put it in one pile to discard of later, because I don't want that around the camp. Now the legs, you need to make a snap, okay? Snap the legs, and just cut them off. I put that in my rubbish pile. Again, I'm not cutting through bone. Ah. That can be quite a hard way. There's a there's another way of doing it where you put actually on the bone and you push downwards, you thump downwards onto the bone. But I don't like doing that, obviously, because of the knife. Right. Sometimes the tail's quite hard to pull. You pull the tail, 
and it, it's supposed to drag the rest of the intestines out, the um, the rest of the bad meat or the rabbit muck. But the other way to do it is to push your knife down through the V, straight out like that, and then you can crack the back and pull all the stuff you don't want, pull it all out. Like so, and just cut any any other fur away, any part of the animal that you don't want to you don't want cooked with the meat. Okay, now that meat's now kept clean; none of the intestines have gone round it. I then need to drag my hand at the cavity of the rabbit and pull the lungs and the and the stomach cavity out, just like so. Now the liver there is good to keep. It's really good, good healthy meat. But the problem is with the liver, it's got a little sack. You need to put it flat in your hand and open it out. And it's got a little sack. Now that sack needs to be removed. It doesn't taste very nice and it can taint the flavour of the meat. And uh, you just need to remove that. This is where a nice sharp knife comes in handy. I'm just, just cut a little V. There we go, and that's been removed, and that goes in the rubbish pile. That can go and be fried up with the rest of the food. Kidneys can be kept as well, they're good. Now put your fingers right up into the cavity, and drag the lungs out. Just like so. Take the heart away from the lungs, that's something else you can eat. Discard the lungs. And there we go. Your rabbit is ready for cooking. There's many different methods you can cook with. Um, thank you very much for joining us at Forage Bushcraft. We look forward to seeing you again.